Hello, welcome to another edition of Shiny New Products. And today, a brand new pair of cities have just arrived on my desk for testing. So let me take you through them and have a closer look. Wow, look at those bad boys. Very nice. These are the brand new City Wire 2 shoe. Available now in shops, just arrived for testing. Uh, right off the bat, they cost £330. Uh, a number of updates to the previous uh, wire shoe. But first and foremost, it's this new grey finish, matte grey finish. What do you think? So I did a quick informal poll on my Instagram page. And surprisingly, to my surprise anyway, most people seem to like the grey. Apparently it's on trend and it's fashionable at the moment. But what do you think? Let me know what you think of this colorway in the comment section below. Do you love it or do you hate it? So yeah, that's a quick first look. Let's take you through the shoe in a bit more detail, but first a bit of a recap. So in 2012, maybe 2013, the previous version of Wire was launched and it was the company's range topping flagship shoe. Last year, they launched a new shot an all new shoe with a new upper enclosure system which was used by Chris Froome to win the Tour de France. So with the shot at the top of the range, the wire has been redesigned, tweaked, refined and have been relaunched this year. So it's not a drastic redesign, it looks very similar to the old shoe but you can see a number of changes if you're familiar with that previous shoe that are present on the shoe. And some of the changes owe their um, development to the shot which launched last year. So let me take you through a few key details of the new shoes. As I mentioned, there's the all new grey upper, but don't worry, other colours are available. They're using a new microfiber material in the construction of the shoe. It's a one piece design with uh, stitching in key areas to reinforce it. And they've got this interesting textured surface and channels that look to reinforce the closure system as well. It gives it a distinctive, unique appearance. Reinforced toe area and a reinforced heel cup. And at the heel cup, there's an adjustable heel cup mechanism, like we've seen on the shot. If you find a flat blade screwdriver small enough, you might have to find a Christmas cracker left over from last year to find a screwdriver that can fit in there. But if you can, you can adjust how much that clasps your foot in the shoe. Because you don't want heel lift when you're cycling, you don't want your heel lifting out of the shoe because that minimizes uh, your power efficiency and pedaling efficiency. So this works to lock your heel firmly into the back of the shoe. There's also ventilation on the heel cup, you can see there. And there's also perforations along the side of the shoe, which would be useful in the high weather of the um, British summer we've enjoyed. On the top, there's a refined closure system. They haven't drastically redesigned it. They're using the same Techno 3 dials. This is City's own closure system. It looks similar to a Burr dial, but works a bit differently. I think they've been using this since 1983, mid 80s anyway. So it's quite an easy, intuitive system. I don't think it's as easy or as nice as a Burr system, but what City are using. And the main change on this new City Wire 2 shoe is the placement of the lower dial onto the tongue, which we've seen on the shot last year, while the upper dial stays in the same place. So you use the lower dial to adjust the volume across the front of the foot and the top dial just to clamp this strap across the top of the foot and keep it all nicely uh, secure on your foot. The top strap has been redesigned, so it's now a little bit smaller and they've used a new softer, more padded, flexible material at the edges and they've cut away some material there just to allow it to deform a little bit more. I found the previous uh, strap on the wire could be a little bit uncomfortable sometimes, putting unwanted pressure across the top of the foot, so that's a nice little uh, redesign there and should help to alleviate any pressure uh, build up around that area of the foot. So that's the upper. I should also mention there's a padded tongue as well, and you can cut the edges of the tongue to um, improve comfort. But that's the upper. Let's take a look at the sole, and you see a very nice, very fancy, full carbon fiber sole, designed, as you might imagine, to be very stiff for maximum power transfer, but also very light. As you can see, vent carbon sole, there's some venting to provide a bit of um, management in high weather, in high heat. So there's an adjustable vent at the front. You can actually close it or open it depending on how much ventilation you want. Not sure how much difference that makes. So I'd be interested to see in testing what sort of difference that does make. There's also a small vent at the middle of the sole as well. It's not as much ventilation as we've seen on some other high-end shoes. So I'd be interested to see how it, how it does perform in 
in higher temperatures. Also on the carbon sole, you've got a replaceable uh, bumper there for walking around, so that's a nice touch. And on a high-end expensive shoe like this, which should last a very long time, being able to replace that bumper is a nice um, addition. I'm not sure how likely you are to wear that out, but if you're stopping at traffic lights or walking down a driveway, you may well do. At the cleat area, it's a typical three bolt uh, cleat drilling, pretty standard um, affair there. And nice numbered markers so you can make sure you get the cleat lined up precisely and mirror that position on each shoe so you can get your cleats actually set up just where you want them. So that's full carbon fiber sole, uh, vented, uh, adjustable vent at the front. And that really is the City Wire 2 shoe in a nutshell. So just to recap, is an update to a classic which has been around for a long time. Take some of the development from the shot introduced last year. Looks like a good shoe. I'm liking this new textured microfiber upper. I'm not sure on the gray finish yet. I'm undecided at the moment. It may grow on me, it may not. I'm more of a white shoe person, personally, but this might be more practical, more durable in the awesome conditions that we're now heading into here in the UK. So it'd be interesting to see how this microfiber material uh, stands up to a bit of uh, road grime and mud and if it wipes clean easily. It does feel like it would clean up quite easily. So yeah, it'd be interesting to see how we get on with those. The last thing really to talk about is the price because why they're city and a high-end shoe means a high-end price and these are costing in the UK £330, which is a lot of money, puts them right at the top with a lot of other very credible, very um, competitive shoes. Interestingly, the shot, the range topping shoe is £350, so it's just a £20 difference between City's uh, top of range shoe and its second tier shoe. And I've tested the shot shoes and I'm really impressed with them when I tested them for Row CC last year. So I think I'll be interested to find out if that price difference is too small or not big enough and whether you're better off getting the wire twos or the shots and whether there's enough difference between the two to distinguish um, choosing this one or the other one and whether there's enough price difference between them really. So yeah, so that's a City Wire 2 shoe now available in stock at your local bike shop wherever you are, if you're buying online or in your local bricks and mortar store. But that's been a quick first look. I hope you enjoyed watching it. And if you did, show me how much by hitting that like button in the bottom of the video. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do by hitting that red button so you don't miss out on any future shiny new products from myself here and the rest of the Row CC team. But as ever, that's all for now. Thanks for watching and I will see you again next time.